Yo, so I haven't been this excited for a piece of technology in a really long time. And yes, by the way, I moved, so the background is gonna be a little bit different. And I haven't been this excited because it's literally my own tech stack. It's called JSTack, and it's the modern way to confidently ship high performance, low cost Next.js apps. We're gonna see exactly why here in a second. It's end to end type safe with an incredible DX. And not only is this page built literally with a JSTack, of course, but I also prepared a little PowerPoint presentation of why you should give a crap. So why is the JSTAG really, really cool and my favorite way to build really cool apps? Now, first off, it's fast as, well, it's really fast. Now, why is that? Why is it so fast? You can see this is actual JSTAG code right here. Let me zoom in so I can see this easier. This is nothing else than a regular Next.js server side component where we fetch some data using a fully end-to-end -end type safe RPC. Right, you can see all the data right here that we get from our backend, in our case, just a database call to fetch a recent post, completely type safe, and then we pass it down into a client component using something called a hydration boundary, which comes from React Query. Right, So we populate our client, and then in the client side component, the recent post component, this data is going to be immediately available in this React Query. But more on that later, what I originally wanted to get to is why is this so fast? And the reason is, check this out, to deploy your backend, your entire server in the real time, just enter yarn deploy, hit enter, and boom, that's gonna do all the work for us. It's gonna deploy our entire backend to Cloudflare workers right now. Normally this takes around six seconds, but because I'm doing some background work, it's taken a bit longer, like 30 seconds, okay? But normally this is really, really fast. And just like that, our entire server or entire backend is deployed to a live environment and we can just insert the live URL that Cloudflare gives us right here. And not only are Cloudflare workers much faster than deploying to something like Vercel or AWS Lambda directly, but they're also extremely cheap to run. The first 100,000 invocations on Cloudflare are free. I powered entire services from myself just on Cloudflare workers. They are incredibly cheap. By the way, you can deploy this as is to Vercel as well. You don't have to use Cloudflare workers. Of course, it's the faster, cheaper option to just say yarn deploy and deploy your backend, but you can deploy this entire project without any changes as is to Vercel, just the same way or anywhere else like Railway, Heroku. It doesn't matter. You can bring your code wherever you want. And that's a really beautiful thing about the stack. Second thing I think that's really cool is built-in global caching. What does that mean? So let me just show you some code here, okay? If we go into our backend, like a post router, if you've ever used something called TRPC, a type safe RPC client that's often used with Next.js, this syntax is gonna be very familiar to you. And if you haven't, the benefit of this being our backend of our server, right, is that this is completely type safe. As I showed you earlier, whatever we return from this API route, like the recent post, right, that has a name, an ID, a created and updated ad that we simply get from our database, that's the type we also receive right here on the front end, right? It's gonna be the exact same thing. And if we change that, for example, if we returned a name of John right here from our back end, then we could also see that change right away in our front end. So this is end-to-end -end type safe, which is really, really nice for a good developer experience. In our database call that uses Prisma under the hood, because I really like the DX of Prisma, you can see it uses a cache option right here. And that's nothing that's built into Prisma. This normally doesn't exist. This is something custom to the JSTAG. As long as you define an ID right here, it's gonna draw stuff from our cache. So that's gonna make our app even faster, 42 milliseconds, 28 milliseconds. Now, of course, this is local, right? So it's gonna be a bit faster, it's a bit skewed, but this is drawn from a global upstash powered cache instead of our primary database, just built in right here into our database. By the way, if you don't want that for any reason, you're totally free to remove it. This is completely open source, right? There is a middleware right here that's completely open to you that uses the cache extension right here powered by Upstash Redis. But if you don't want that for any reason, just remove it, right? And then it's gone. And by the way, each procedure, like a base procedure or a public procedure, can extremely easily, and I think this is one of the coolest features of the JSTAG, um, and TRPC, by the way, too, right? This was inspired by TRPC. Um, you can easily extend them using something called dot use. So you can write your completely own middleware to make sure a user is authenticated, to make sure a user is on a payment plan, right? And as long as you get the next function, whatever you pass instead of this next function, like, I don't know, is authenticated 
true, right? And then you perform your authentication check right up here. Then every time your actual business logic runs inside of the mutation, two things are gonna happen. First off, you're gonna have access to the context that is authenticated in every single procedure that has this middleware before. That means this create right here, the public procedure, this runs your authentication middleware. So you also have access to the is authenticated in the context. In any procedure that does not run your authentication middleware, of course, that is authenticated is not gonna be inside of the context, right? Only stuff that you provide from middlewares that have run before this procedure, which is awesome. So anytime this mutation runs, we can be absolutely sure that the user will exist because otherwise they wouldn't even have passed the middleware. This allows us to fully type safe, now work with the user object with the is authenticated constant that we're just kind of mocking here. And I think you get the idea and that is really, really cool. And as soon as we delete the middleware, right, you can immediately tell the is authenticated is no longer available. We're no longer sure that the user is actually there. Just like TRPC, we have automatic ZOD input validation. That means if we demand a name for each post to be created right here in our backend, then we are also expected to pass that name from our front end wherever we call or backend API, right? So we have a global client that we can use completely type safe, by the way, post.create dot and to make a post request we simply need to pass in the name and if we didn't pass what the input demands from us well we're gonna get an error expected one to two arguments but got zero right so we're expected to actually pass in the name for a literally completely type safe experience and i think that is really cool and the result is this a backend that you can deploy in seconds to a super cheap super fast service that is cloudflare workers or anywhere else that you want like vercel heroku railway it does not matter with really fast api latency because of the cache this is just really, really cool. Now, there are two caveats that I want to point out to you. And that is, first off, there's no docs yet. Like, I'm not going to lie to you. Is it the stack is really cool. I'm really proud of it, but there are downsides, of course. And one of them is I didn't have time to write documentation yet. Dude, if you want to try JSTAC, you are more than welcome to give me your feedback and PR if you want to become a contributor but you're kind of on your own, if you know what I mean. Like there is no documentation just yet. And the second downside is that the JSTAG doesn't support every database yet. This is primarily meant for the edge, for Cloudflare workers and so on. And that is why in the database creation, we're kind of limited to databases that work in the edge environment, which is Planet Scale, Neon, Terso, Cloudflare D1, as well as a SQL database. Right here, I just kind of hard coded a Neon Postgres database that works perfectly in the Edge environment, but it is kind of limiting because you can't use every single option that Prisma offers, just a couple of HTTP compatible ones. But that said, dude, I developed apps in the stack already. This is really fun to use. Once we hit submit, we automatically get the new data from the backend. We prefetch everything on the server when I reload this page. So it's immediately there on page load. And honestly, the DX and the code we write as people working in the stack as building SaaS apps in the stack, that's primarily what it's meant for. This is just a super, super nice type safe, fast and cheap experience to run your SaaS. So if you want, go ahead and try it out.